Hey guys, so in this tutorial we're going to update the city to uh, actually use the um, time of day system. So I've just added in our blueprint that we made and connected it to the light source, and it's currently nighttime. The one effect you're going to notice right away is that the directional light shoots up and casts shadows from underneath because the meshes aren't double sided. Now we could make them double sided, but it's honestly just easier to just make a cylinder and um, just bring it down a bit. And set it to 200 by 200. And there we go. The city's dark. It, well, it still has light because I have a skylight, which is pretty bright, actually. Uh, just set it to 1. Whoops. Also auto exposure doing its thing. Which we could maybe turn off, but we'll leave it for now. Auto exposure is what makes it get lighter and darker, depending on like, your current light. Alright, so we have it nighttime now, and well, we can check the day-night cycle. So where's that sun? Yeah, there it is. So it's starting to look kind of cool. The skylight got messed up though. You know what? Let's turn off auto exposure. It's bothering me. Can't tell like what things are looking like. So to turn off auto exposure, just turn on. Uh, Go to these. Sorry, I don't need to do method. I'll just set them all to one. Okay, so you can see now what's actually going on. So we can set our skylight to be a bit brighter. All right. Um, let's. Looking a bit dark, but I guess it is nighttime, so uh yeah, we'll just turn our skylight up a bit more even. Might make it a bit too bright during the day, but we'll see. Just so we can see what's going on for now. Okay, anyway, starting to drag on here. So uh we'll do the textures next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change one fourth of the textures to update to their emissive versions. And uh so that'll give the city like a, a nighttime feel. So what we're going to do is go into our sky sphere time of day. We're going to make a new function and it's going to be called get all <coughs> meshes with emissive texture. And we're going to do get all actors of class static mesh actor. And for each, we're going to check Uh, get material uh, get material and uh, get display name contains go to string and we're gonna check if it contains underscore o1 because those are all the ones that could have emissive versions and if it does <clears throat> might have actually been a B yeah it might be a let me go check that not numbers, materials. So yeah, it's A. A's have the emissives or two A. Yeah, so we need to check if it has A. Okay. So O one, O two. So we need to check if it has underscore A. And if it does, we need to do. Uh, we need to also check if it has a four or a one or like a one to a four so we do need to check that as well just wondering what the best way to do this is if there's a way we can make this lazier because we're gonna otherwise we're gonna have to do four we'll we'll stick with one for now and i'll see if i can figure out a way to make it lazier all right so We'll uh, add unique if it does contain these things. We'll promote this to a variable. Meshes with texture A. Meshes with texture O1A is what we'll name it. 
And I just gotta kill this mosquito, sorry. There we go, I got him. Apologize for that. <laughs> Alright, so... <clears throat> we should also clear this when we call this function. We're gonna call this function at the start, so we populate. We populate it. Uh, so we'll do on begin play. We'll call it after our setup there. And now we'll make a new function called turn meshes to night. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll rename it. Update meshes materials. So we'll name it. And we'll check the time. The hour is greater than. Uh, hmm. Just trying to think of the best way to do this easily. Um, like we could do it that way. Uh, we'll just make a bool. Call it nighttime. So if nighttime is true, we're gonna get all these for each loop. <clears throat> set material and we're going to set it to emissive and it's texture 01a emissive and uh, that's it for that if it's false we're going to do the same thing but we're going to set it to 01a I think the fastest way to do this is to make another function that takes in this variable and then we can just make a bunch of variables for it. But uh, for now we'll just stick with one. And now we need to make our nighttime variable set to true. So we'll check this. Um, what is this business? Forgot to do something here. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. <laughs> Alright. Um, so let's see here. Our in range, maybe. So we want the in range to be between, I guess, eight and twenty. Uh, then we'll set this to not nighttime. Probably don't need to set that bool all the time. We'll make this more efficient um, in a second. But I just want to check if this actually is going to work. I haven't actually tested this yet, so let's see how it goes. Do I see any emissive buildings? Oh, did we even call our functions? I don't think we did. Yeah, so that's this is a dumb way. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna make a new function. Check time. And uh we'll just connect this here. Yeah, so if it's nighttime and the hour is greater than 8, set nighttime to false. Oops. If it's greater than. Yeah, we'll also need to have another check. It's greater than 8, but less than. <sighs> Why don't we just use in range? Never mind. Sorry, I'm just all over the place. This is what I need to practice first. It usually goes smoother when I'm on my own, too. What can you do? In range, float 8 to 20. Set nighttime to false. So if it's nighttime and uh, the time, the hour is in range of 8 to 20, then we're going to set nighttime to false. And if nighttime is false, but the hour is in range, 
zero to eight or twenty to twenty four. Then we're going to set nighttime to true. And nighttime. Yeah, okay. So let's try that. Oh, we still need to call our update function. Sorry, I forgot about that. Update meshes materials. Compile, save. Okay, now let's try. All right, so there we go. The light's a little bright. Might have to turn that down a little bit. But uh, hopefully daytime will come. Where's the sun? Daytime will come. And there we go, lights go off. So we could probably make that six instead of eight. But uh, yeah. All right, so this video is starting to run on. So we've got part one done. In the next video, I guess we'll get rid of part two, get it out of the way, and make it so the all, all the buildings do it. Well, at least one fourth of them anyway. Um, so we're not gonna make all of them do it simply because we'd have to make a lot more textures. And um, it's, not really necessary anyway in my opinion like you don't want every single building to light up i guess these all do use a anyway oh for a yeah they always use versions of a okay i didn't know that it's just different cars colors for cars then okay anyway um in the next video we'll uh improve this so thanks for watching bye